One of the greatest causes of change in English has been its encounter with other cultures and other tongues. And these encounters are still happening today. My next stop is Bradford to see this in action. Bradford has one of the largest concentration of South Asian populations in Britain. There are about 1.7 million who have come to this country from South Asia, from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, making it the biggest ethnic minority. Many of those who came in the first instance didn't speak English, but as their children were born here and went through the British school system, they did speak English. They do speak English at school at least. Here, they speak Yorkshire English. Welcome to the tale of a delicious adventure in a wonderful land. Kate, not that the name would tell much either way. She barely comes into the story. But if wishes were fishes, I'd bet we'd all throw them back. The first language of these children's parents and grandparents is usually Urdu or Punjabi, and that's often the language that the children speak at home. And these languages have greatly complicated and enriched the Yorkshire English they speak at school and on the streets. I speak half English and half uh, Punjabi when I'm talking to my mates. If I, if I know I can't say this word in English, I will say in my own language. Kasme means I swear, like, I swear I won't do that again. I found with my white friends and, uh, you know, like, accidentally I will say, Kasme, I, I really did this. And they say, what is Kasme? Then I'll say, it means I, I swear, I swear, you know, I'm being honest. When they use the word Kasme, it's quite funny the way they say it. They'll go, Kasme, that happened. And, you know, they'll, they'll use the language as well, very differently as well. They walk up to you and say, oh, uh, say, what's happening? And then they pick it up, oh, what's happening? But they don't know they're saying the same thing. Oh, means what's happening? Then yeah. they'll say, oh, what's yeah. happening in the same sentence. The only, well, Punjabi word we use when we're texting is or. The rest is all short English that you probably use when you're on the internet sending a message.